TVG Super Saturday tomorrow here at Belmont Park. And with a man who's going to play a key role is, tr is Simon Bray. Thanks very much, Todd. And that man who's playing a key role is Jimmy Jerkins. As we heard at the top of the show, the focus is about Wicked Strong and VE Day in the Jockey Club Gold Cup tomorrow. And the man who trains both those horses that ran 1-2 in the Travis standing here with me now. Jimmy, first of all, thanks for joining us. How are both horses doing since the Travis? I, I'm really happy with them. You know, I've been, I'm usually a pessimist at heart and I'm looking for any reason to, <laughs> to you know, but I mean, you know, still a lot of things got to go right. But as far as I think we're getting them over there as, as good as we can. Let's talk about Wicked Strong real quick. It was mentioned in the press, you've been training him in an elevator bit. What is that exactly is that? And can you explain to our viewers what that does? Well, it's, it's been, around, been around a while. Some people call it a three ring, three ring bit. You know, it, um, the lower you put it, the lower ring you put it, you get more leverage, the more severe it is. I think his is in the middle somewhere. But what it does is it pulls down on the pole and uh, horses seem to, without, they seem to respect it without, it without it really doing damage to their mouth. That's why I like it. It seemed to really settle him down his gallops. He was galloping a little too fast between his works. Might have been taking something out of him. It seems to help him walking home, too, after, uh, after his exercise. So, you know, I, I think it had a little bit to do with his recent success. That's good. The pole of being the, the top of the horse's head between the ears, of course, putting a little more pressure on there. VE Day, he's a horse that seemingly likes to sit back and make one run. How do you see the race shaping up tomorrow? Are you going to change his running style or just let Javier Castellano sit back there and do what he did in the Travis, which was a favorable pace he closed into? Yeah, you know, I can't, you can't really change your horses, uh, especially a come from behind horse that much. As they get sharper and, you know, and bigger and stronger like he's getting, you might get away with letting them lay a little closer than, than they did at the beginning. But, uh, you know, for, them, for him to have that same kick, you'd have to basically ride him the same, I would think. All right, Jimmy, best of luck this weekend. Keep it in the family. Dad won this race three times, including in 1998. Paid a huge price, $70 with wagon limit. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you very much.